Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts. Uh, we've explored pretty much the entirety of the camp, so now it's time to go and check out Coach Oleander's basic braining. Hey, where are you going, Maloof? Shh. Hmm. I snuck out. That class is a death trap for crazy people. Well, I'm not crazy, Listen, so I should be fine. Coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and hmm. then there's nothing you can do about it. But is this voluntary? Started, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. I'm not Damn quite sure how that's supposed to work, but oh god. Ah! It's cotton candy. Yeah. You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection. Oh god, he's your standard bully Cuff protection up, service. And loser. look well, at those ears. Hey, leave them alone. Oh my god, those ears. I rumor you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. So you're really big you? with known brains? Because you huh. look more like the cotton candy. Uh -huh. Huh. Yeah. I'm glad Raz Maybe said it too. Put this kid dead on my to-do list. Come on. We'll see him in class. Yeah. Hmm. Let's settle this on the battlefield. On the battlefield, huh? Okay, well, we'll see what you're able to do about it. Okay, guys. Let's see here. One second. Okay, so now we have some smelling salts, just in case. Uh, let's, uh, go explore around in here. There's Coach Oleander. What is, uh... Ah, well, apparently that's not good. Why do these kids all look like they're twitching convulsing? What the hell's up with Lily? Uh-huh. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Oh, thank you. Sorry. I'm glad we have the option. So Lily's fully aware. Let's go check on uh, this girl. They seem to all be in a trance when they ask to project themselves into the coach's sight, which is awesome. And that one's twitching. Uh, how about these two? Okay, they're all kind of about in the same spot. Um, which is awesome. Let's see. But this one is messing around with this transmitter. Hey, Chloe, what are you doing? The coach uses this to broadcast hmm. his thoughts across the camp. I think I can tune it to reach my people in space. Oh, wonderful. Whoa. How does it work? I don't have time to explain the technology to you. It looks like a radio. Hey, uh, Chloe? Go away, Raz. I'm working. Chloe does not seem willing to tell us about exactly how this radio technology works. I'm assuming she just doesn't know. So let's go talk to Coach Oleander and see what's going on with this basic braining. Coach Oleander? I'm reporting for basic braining. So, okay. Do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind, and you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. I'm assuming there's none of those. Pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Let's see. Run around a bit more in the sunshine, unable to do anything because I've already accomplished everything. Or go into basic braining for the storyline. Hmm. I'm ready, sir. Well then, you're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me twenty. He's got a door in his head. That said, Raz does not seem particularly upset about this. He's just going to jump on in. Okay. Well, there you go. Time for a nifty loading screen, and so this is it. The mental world. It's a big room. With nothing it in it. Looks like a dentist office. Yeah, like that. A mental dentist office. Like a crazy dentist? That makes sense when it comes to Coach Oleander. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. So not dentists? Without fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Sure. This is your last chance to chicken out. This kid's gonna. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Told ya. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting. He's not kidding, either. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you. Once you do, the war is on. That seems like a bit of a catch-22. You can't leave this room. Said, me. Unless you punch me in the face. But if you punch me in the face, I'm gonna shoot you. Well, crap. I guess we're gonna starve in here. Well, I mean, honestly, I do kind of want to punch him. Do it. Sure. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. What's up? 
Kaboom. You just blew him what up. What kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed. Exactly. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. Same now thing. Get your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now. Wait, what's this game rated? Okay, so time to learn how to jump. Jump, double jump. Fantastic. Well, that was easy. No, seriously, that's what this. Uh, this is the. Uh, this is actually considered to be the tutorial training level. Hey, look, it's an enemy. It's creepy. And it glows. That's just a figment of my imagination. Aren't those supposed to be dragons? They're little purple ones? Through. They have their own rides, Disneyland? They help you rank up. And when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. Fantastic. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come on, get that figment. It's a the new collectible. Piggy, piggy. Who's coaches, little piggy? Oink, oink, oink. Piggy, piggy. Okay, let's go talk to this piece of luggage. Sure. Make yourself useful. Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. Could be right over here. Hey, look, that looks like a tag. There it is. Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and give me 20 right now. You hit that ladder hard, son. No, Show I've got other stuff to do. Fall. Go away. So, tons of collectibles. This one's a matching game. Get yourself your tag, which looks like what you need. Tag the luggage, and get a prize. By get a prize, I mean get absolutely nothing. Is there something over here that I forgot about? Yes, no. There are a couple hidden areas in this level that I can't recall. Okay, so, up the ladder. I wish you would stop yelling that. So figments are collectible. Every level has a certain amount of them. I can't remember how many we have now, but uh, or in this in, in this level, we're gonna try to collect all of them. Though there are a couple of uh, levels that I don't know where they all are. Hey, look, it's another tag. It's kind of useful to get uh, all the ta uh, all the figments. Uh, not the least of which because um, you know you want to level up to level 101 because we can't count. Okay. Shut up, you. Notice how there are plants made of bullets and, um... This one's made of barbed wire? Or is it dog tags? Looks like dog tags. Okay, I need to go back up here. I love how, I love how Raz climbs uh, ladders. It's hilarious to me. Okay, let's jump over here. I really should have gone up that pole, but, you know. Raz climbs like a monkey. Snag all of these figments. You actually, uh, if you ever care to look at the art of the figments... He wasn't kidding. Uh, if you ever care to look at all the figments, you actually can go into the uh, game and check it out. That's a bomb. We can't get past this. This is stupid. It's a bomb. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kids? Evolutionarily speaking, yes. Stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's what thing? <laughs> Bobby Zilch's yes, foot. That's what. You stupid new kid. Man, I can't wait to beat the crap out of Bobby. Uh, did he just really? Okay. Thanks for saving me. Hey, look, it's a meat flower. Actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. That's what she said. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? That sounds really personal. No. Really personal. Hey, but I wanted to be down there. There's stuff down here. Ah, oh, whoops. Don't want to be down here yet. This is that classified super secret route that uh, Raz was talking about earlier. Yep, he was right. But here's the thing. If you so choose, you could just go up this ladder. Less waiting, more motivating! And just go this way. 
The only reason I'm going this way now is that there are figments here. Uh, I don't want to go that way. We're, we're going to skip that way for now. There's stuff we need to do in that direction, but not yet. Okay, this is the super secret route. Once again, figments. Can't remember if these platforms fall or if they just bounce. Looks like they just bounce. You're like molasses going uphill in January with crutches. With crutches, yes, because molasses needs crutches. Man, this guy should have been a drill sergeant in another life. Well, we've got a ton of figments. We are getting close to leveling up. Where am I now? Not where I want to be, that is for sure. Where I want to be is over there on those blimps. Or whatever those things are. So let's see about heading over there, because there are a couple more figments in that direction. We just ranked up. We are now rank three. Yeah, I'm not going up, I'm going down. Down is the way I want to go. Am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? Yes! Aha! Okay, here's one of the problems with uh, figments. Not every figment is stationary. In fact, most of them move. And you have to uh, catch them, and some of them are really obnoxious about the way they move. Uh, for instance, these figments, you're going to have to really kind of hunt down. It's going to take me several passes at this. It's game day, kid! Yeah, that's wonderful. Shut up, you. I have to stay on this one because I'm trying to get that plane right there. Come on, come here. Come here. Ah, I win. Uh, don't worry about falling. You'll just lose a life. Uh, I forget what they call it in this game, but um, it's no big deal, honestly. Come here. Oh no, I lost a life. And we're back. So, I lost one of the, uh, one of Raz's lives. Oh well. No big deal. We'll get more. They're not exactly hard to get. Okay, let's shimmy. Is your name Joey? No. Because I'm going to call you Slowy Joey. It's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear you. You're talking too slow. <laughs> I take it back. He's not a, uh, he shouldn't be a drill sergeant. He should be a high school What's bully. Okay, we got that one. What else do I need? Uh, I love these really big Rambo knives. They just sort of float around. Let's see, what's back here? I do like that the uh, levitation, not levitation, but double jump actually does highlight the area around you. I'm not going to use it for a flashlight because there's really no areas dark enough to actually need it. But it is kind of cool. That is our second piece of emotional baggage taken care of. There are, believe me, plenty more. You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. Man, he just gives me the best motivation. I thought you said we couldn't die in here, coach. Let's see, we got that one, we got that one, we got that one. We got bombs, we got dog tags, we got soldiers that are flying for no discernible reason. Okay, let's bounce. Okay, where's that other one? I know I saw another one. There we go. Come on. No, no, come here. Part of me wants to know what that means, and part of me doesn't care. Okay, come on, dude. There we go. I can't remember how many figments we have in this level, but uh, I'm sure I'm getting tons of them. Let's see. Upwards. Like a monkey? I feel like a monkey. I feel like we have a monkey whose brains get eaten in Indiana Jones uh, movies. Here. Yep, he didn't last long. Apparently getting frightened in here is uh, tantamount to death. Oh, hey, look, it's Dogen. Hey, hey Dogen. Dogen. What's wrong? I keep blowing up. Follow me. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Help you through the mines. Okay. Yep, Dogen will just sort of follow you. Not particularly quickly mined, but he'll follow. I can't do it. I can't do it. Dogen. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. 
I love how quickly he turns around. Oh, okay. Just follow you? That's easy. Come on, Dogen. We're almost there. Just a little bit further. Hey, look, it's a minesweeper. You can do it, Dogen. That would be a mine. Uh, apparently, we have to go help him again, because he's just having a little bit of trouble here. I'll be honest, I'm kind of surprised I haven't blown up yet. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. He's so trusting. It's like a little bit of a little dog. Or if you look at his feet, maybe a little bit of a rabbit. Or a clown. Probably a clown. Clowns have hats like that, right? This way, Dogen. We're almost there. I think his pathfinding is literally one line to another. Come on, follow me. Like, literally straight line pathing. So he's not hard to get through. And we're here. Look, you did it! Congratulations. Ooh, nice. Raw psychic arrowheads. They give us a lot more psychic energy than uh, normal psychic arrowheads. Lift this flag because we succeeded. And it teaches us how to save, and a mouth opens up. And didn't we go? Snag the grenade. The plane's going down, soldier. Hit that door and Geronimo! Hey, no one told me to pack a shoot. Did Washington have a shoot when he crossed the Delaware? Probably. Jump, jump, sissy. Before you do that. Well, I guess we're all going to die. Yep, that's exactly how this is gonna happen. My whole life is flashing before my eyes. Mm -hmm. My first memory is of my dog, lady. Uh huh. Lady and I used to go for long walks. Really? We would go on and on and on and on. Do tell me about this. This one time we went on a walk we call the longest walk of all time. Truly. At first we went to the end of our street. Fascinating. And then I bent down to tie my shoe. And what happened next? And then we turned right. Okay. And then Lady had to stop and scratch. I know and when that happens. We just stood still for a while. Neat. And then we got attacked by bees. How'd you handle that? And then we walked four miles. Wait, wait, go back to the bees. And then Lady saw a gopher. Okay, tell me about that. We got lost or not. Wild. Actually, you can stand here for as long as you and want. He has stand. a bank of um things he says, and he'll just repeat directions. himself eventually. And then we turned a deep left. A hey, deep we left. Half a mile. And then we walked two miles. Yep, he never stops. Before my brains start melting out of my head, let's get the hell out of here. And then I gave Lady a bone. Well, that didn't last long. Out we go. I actually left the game sitting there for about 20 minutes one time, came back to see if it was done. He was still talking. Hey, look! It's Raz! You're too excited. Way too excited. Cheers. Yay, Raz! Just punch that to start. Okay. I'm going to completely ignore that for a second because we got some figments to pick up. That, that, that. Okay, jump and punch to activate the button. You score enough points on this course, kid, and I'll give you a reward. Neat. Okay, we need to hit 20 points in 60 seconds, and we need to not hit friendly targets. Okay. Oh, God, we have cheerleaders. Are these skeletons dual wielding? Is that what this is? Do they need two guns? I don't know how I missed that one. -da -da -da. How much time do I have? 37 seconds left? Okay. You, you'd think it could do a little bit harder than this. That's a baby. We don't want to punch babies. Nope, don't want to punch that either. 30 seconds left. thing anybody's ever given to me. We could do this again. There are prizes to be had. This time we need to hit a lot more, and if we hit a uh, friendly target, we are penalized a point. I love this big psychic hand Raz has when he hits things. It just amuses me. Smack, smack, smack. Nine points. Ten points. Eleven. I can count. So we're going to start seeing babies sometime soon. 
luckily there isn't really a high score mode to this. It's just once you reach the uh, target amount, the game ends. La -dee da This is taking longer than I needed to. We got some free uh, uh, arrowheads. Can I do this again? Do I want to do this again? Uh, no. Not interested. Let's move on. Most people, they got something to hide. They store away their shame, their dirty little secrets, these tiny bolts in their mind. So the I can see your dirty little secrets? secrets Are they, soldier? Just go ahead. Bust open this vault. I got nothing to hide. He says this now. Let's see his dirty little secret. You just gotta punch it. Good. Okay, so now we get to see his pride, okay? So he raised a flag in a mountain area. He led a charge into enemy battle. He got shot at while jumping out of an airplane. Uh, he apparently rode a torpedo uh, and patched up some kids. And was a commander of something or other. You enjoy that. One of my favorites. Somehow, I don't believe any of that. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I don't really have that much uh, respect for Coach Oleander. That little blue thing that I just picked up is a uh, health thing, in case you need help. And this is a teleporter. Uh, you can use it to jump anywhere in the world. So this can, or well, anywhere there's another teleporter. So this could take us to the trenches, which was earlier in the level. Okay, if we punch this little guy, it'll knock down the big guy, and now we have a bridge. But that next area looks like we're going to get shot at, and I don't like getting shot at multiple times in one episode, so we're going to have to cut this one short. I'll see you guys soon.